Recently, there were headlines all about uh, exonerating rats from uh, causing or spreading the Black Plague uh, that, of course, struck and killed so many people across Half Europe. of the population. But that is actually kind of a misnomer. Um, well, the exoneration part definitely yeah. is. Rats definitely played a role <laughs> in all of this. There's three different kinds of, of the plague, or Yersinia, I, I suppose is what it's called. That would be the bacteria, yeah, that would cause this plague. So we have bubonic, pneumonic, and septicemic. Septicemic mm -hmm. is blood. Uh, you will see in the gangrene when people die, and it's called black death, probably just from that. But there's a difference between uh, bubonic and pneumonic, which I think is where the confusion arises. Well, the, the idea is that basically we, we do have these three strands of the plague. And I want to say that they were probably all in Europe when the Black Death happened. Um, but the papers that they're referencing are, by the way, not peer review papers. This comes they're from they're a not special. good sources. Yeah. This is, you know, kind of like, oh, it's a sensationalist piece. And it comes from a documentary that's going to be aired in a few weeks. Yes. So I think that this is part of that kind of marketing scheme for the hype. Mm -hmm. But uh, the the idea would be that uh, bubonic plague is not the cause. Bubonic plague would be when infected rats uh, transmit it via fleas right. to human beings. So the, the, the flea would bite the rat and then bite me. Exactly. And then I would have uh, the, the bubonic plague. plague. Yes. Yes. And then if it went over to your lungs, you would get the pneumonic plague and then septicemic once it went into your blood. Uh, but what this was kind of saying is the idea that it skipped the bubonic phase mm -hmm. and went straight to pneumonic, which kind of means that rats would have to be sneezing and coughing in your mouth. I've never seen that um, happen. It, there's <laughs> one case of a uh, veterinarian who had a cat sneeze in his mouth and he caught the uh, pneumonic plague that way. But I don't think that that's this is the rare. majority. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think that's <laughs> the norm. Uh, so this paper is a little bit, it, it's, the sources are very questionable. Again, I think it's because of this documentary coming off. Uh, but it's, it's a little bit, uh, gosh, I want to say the word sensationalist again. It's just c trying to cause a trend on Twitter well, and people talking it's, about it's it. It's glossing over the, the, the ways that the plague was spread because you, because you were talking to me about primary and secondary mm -hmm. uh, infection. Yeah, so the primary pneumonic plague would be if the bubonic plague transfers in your body as a human being from bubonic to pneumonic. Okay. Then that would be called the secondary pneumonic. It's a second, almost like a second stage. It's, it transfers and it becomes something else. Okay. The primary pneumonic plague, which is what they were talking about here, is that direct uh, infection through cough. Rat coughing. Rat coughing in this case. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much Europeans, like I, we, we tend to be uh, controversial people in general, but I don't know that we were really accustomed to being that close in that close proximity with rats, mm -hmm. even in the you know 1300s. So I'm hoping that that's not the case. I just painted myself, didn't I, with my pen? Um, I'm hoping that that's not no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think that you know this is also a study that, according to the documentary, has only been done on, I think, 50 corpses. We're talking 50 of be anywhere between you know 10 and 50,000. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is something that I, I don't think we have a big, a large enough control group or sample pool to draw these conclusions from. Well, they, they got the, the Yersinia bacteria from the teeth of these corpses? From the teeth, yes. And that has been proven, but that doesn't determine what kind of transmission it was or what was the cause. Uh. But say, let's just go far-fetched and say that this is true. Let's say that sure. rats were coughing in yeah, people's mouths and we were getting this primary <laughs> pneumonic plague uh, that way. Even then, it doesn't exonerate rats. We're still talking about rats being the culprit. Sure, for the, the spread at least. Yeah, so it's, it's this big headline kind of, it happened again when Stephen Hawking released that preliminary paper too, of like, black holes don't exist. People took that and it was trending on Twitter and it was like a huge thing. It's just a misleading headline, I think. It happens, I feel like, a lot in scientific articles, or at least when I'm looking for articles and I'll see a headline like, Volcanoes are the gonna kill us all, and then I read, and it's like uh, it probably won't, and only in a million years. Yeah, it, it's uh, one of those things that I think there was a study done on: can we teach communicators science easier than we can teach 
scientists to communicate. Mm -hmm. And it was proven that that's the case. So it's easier to teach basic scientific knowledge to a journalist. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> than it is to teach a communicator to be engaging and, uh, sorry, a scientist to be engaging and uh, put forth an idea. So I think this is someone taking these peer review papers or these scientific studies, trying to figure out how to make it interesting to the public and then putting out a headline that is just, you know, kind of eye-catching and grabbing. Like when Time has headlines of like, we've cured a cancer. It just irks me the wrong way. But it's also one of those things that that's going to sell more covers. Sure. So The Guardian, I think that's what it did with this rehashing of the Black Plague, which is very interesting. But I just think it's misleading. And it's very time sensitive because it's because of, due to this documentary. I understand that. And yeah. I, I feel like I've seen it a lot when I'm looking for things that I might want to cover mm -hmm. on the show or read about just in my life. Um, so don't believe the hype necessarily. Check it out for yourself. Rats are not exonerated. They are still <laughs> guilty. Guilty and guilty. What do you think of this, uh, this finding about the, the rats and the Black Death and the different ways to spread the Black Death and different ways of testing the Black Death? Uh, please let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.